Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm here today to show you guys some of the projects that I've been working on. You guys know I've been doing a Christmas countdown. So I wanted to show you some of the latest additions to the countdown. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I am posting them every day. Um, you can follow me at sassyblingingme31 on Instagram, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. But if you want to get a, a peek of them on a daily basis, you can check it out on Instagram. So anyways, let's just go ahead and dive right in. <clears throat> so I made this. I haven't made a pinwheel in so long. And I thought, why not? <laughs> so, so super cute. Um, and I used um, the uh, Baking Spirits Bright Paper which has been one of my favorites. I am a super fan of um, Simple Stories paper. Um, and I think I bought this collection from Frank Garcia store. So what I did was I created a double uh, pinwheel. So I have one for the base and then I layered another one on top. It's kind of hard to see it. It's kind of tucked behind there. Um, so one I did with this polka dot paper and then I just did the reverse side, um, which has the holly on it. Then I took some of the uh, super cute ephemera and layered that on top of there. I cut out some gold stars and put one there and down here. Um, I also added some of these little um, candy can or peppermint pieces on there, but I do love how it turned out. And I used, of course, a straw that was similar colors. Um, I took another straw and stuffed it in, in there because I want to make sure that my, my stick is nice and... Um, sturdy but love how that came out super fun um i'm calling it a a loaded pinwheel because <laughs> i put so much stuff on it but so super fun love how that came out all right and the next thing i did i made some of these super cute bows um i use the this is erica scrap diva 29 this is a bow that she sells in her shop um i use the prima um candy cane lane to create these and in the centers you're gonna see some cute little buttons that I purchased from Bona who is live love scrap but love 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 these super cute bows and here's the next one so fun I love those bows so cute and then here's the last one I did in this darker like teal color Look at that little guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. So those are super fun and easy to make. Um, you just have a base layer and then you layer, uh, which is the like scalloped one. And then you just have the other layer that you put on top and then you create the bow. But it is two separate pieces. So once I did this, I adhered the top bow to it. But so fun, so super cute. Then the next thing that I made was I felt like making a shaker. So I made this cute little shaker. Um, this is a bell shaker die that I picked up from uh, KS Craft many years ago and just never made it. But I said, why not? So uh, this is a Michael's paper pad that came out a couple of years ago. And darn it, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, but I just fussy cut this out. This was uh, inside of the paper pad. And then I just created this bow. And then I just put some fun coordinating um, sequins in there. But I love how that came out. It's just very simple. Um, it's an embellishment. So, of course, I would be adding it to a larger product. But, a uh, product, <laughs> project. So, I just kept it on the more simple side. But I love how it turned out love the color um, scheme very pretty very shabby colors um, and then the next thing that I made um, I got this cute little box from um, I don't know how you say it but it, it looks like KL jupe <laughs> but I'll put the I'll put the link for it in the description box below but uh, they had this cute little um, bag, which I love this. And I, again, used some Candy Cane Lane. Um, this is not connected. I just put it on top of a, um, a binder clip. 
um, but that's how it looks without it. Um, some people maybe are putting Velcro, but I thought I'd, li I'd like it better with a bow on top. So I just added that as my closure. And then of course, um, I just went, oops, I think I'm missing the back of the box. Okay, there we go. Let me put it back on there. And then um, I just added all this fun uh, little um, ephemera and stuff from Candy Cane Lane. I also bought these that came from Candy Cane Lane. Uh, in the center of the bow, I used one of the puffy stickers that came with that collection. This is my own personal bow um, that I just uh, used. I didn't, uh, I've had it for years. Um, and then I just, the, the box actually comes with these um, die cut circles, a scalloped one and then a non-scalloped one that you can put in the center so you can layer on top. Um, this is another one of those um, peppermints, but it is an ephemera piece instead of a uh, puffy sticker, but so cute. I didn't put a whole bunch on there, but it just turned out really uh, cute. I like how it turned out and you can put some little goodies in there. So that's the next thing that I made. Um, this one is just an embellishment as well. Um, I've had this for years as well. A couple, well, not years. It's not that old. Um, but um, KS Craft made this cute little like milk and cookies. I just thought that was so cute. And then I put a bow with a little Santa on it because we're leaving the cookies for Santa. But again, this is just an embellishment um, I, that I can put onto something. But I love how that turned out. Super cute. All right, and last but not least, and what I'm going to do a tutorial on, um, I've done this tutorial before, but it's been years, so I thought I'd do another one, but I made some of these gift bows. I make them almost every year. I love to make these to put on a gifts that I'm making. Um, this is a Simple Stories paper, I believe, um, that I got last year, and uh, for those of you who have been following me for a long time, you know I like traditional colors uh, for the holidays. I do, uh, I will make some uh, in other colors, but I always fall back on traditional colors. Um, but I made a few of these gift bows. Um, so this is what I'll do a quick tutorial on. So that's the first one that I made. And then I made this one with this cute, like it has little stockings all over it, which I love this, so cute. And I like making them instead of buying them because a lot of times they're made of like that ribbon type material and not paper sometimes. So um, I prefer these and this is nice and sturdy paper. Um, so this is the second one that I made and it has all the Christmas stockings on there. Very fun. And then here's the last one that I did. I made this um, like snowflake paper one. So cute. So that's what I've been working on over the last week or so. I am like, I only have like seven more days if, if my count is right. This has been a interesting journey. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to show you guys that. So let me move these things out of the way and I'll go ahead and do um, a quick tutorial on how these are done. Um, like I said, I haven't done one in such a long time. So why not? do them all right so i'll leave these here for your reference all right so what you will need is five strips of one inch by 12 inch paper so this is the paper i'm going to use today you will need two strips of one inch by 10 inch and you will need one strip that measures six inches and that's all you need besides a stapler of your choice. I use this one because the staples are smaller, but you can use standard size staplers. That doesn't matter. It's just totally my preference. Um, and of course you will need some hot glue. So I'm gonna try and tilt down without shaking the heck out of this camera and see what we can do. All right, so you're gonna start off with your um, six, uh, excuse me, 12 by one inch strips, so the longest strips. So whatever side you want to be showing upward or out. Okay, so this is the side that I want. So I'm gonna fold from this side 
if that makes sense. So, nope, I said that wrong. Yeah, no, I'm not. I didn't say it wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, the pattern that you want to be out is the one that you want facing away from you. All right, and then what you're going to do, and you just kind of have to eyeball it. There is no measurements for this. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper and you're going to twist it. So, see what I did? And then I'm twisting it inwards, and then I'm going to connect it like this. So, I try to go about halfway up the paper to create that, and this is what it should look like. Just like this. So you'll see me do this a couple times throughout the video so you can get the hang of it. It's very simple. It's just twisting the paper, all right? And then you're gonna do the same thing with the upper piece. So now you're gonna come down towards yourself and you're gonna create that little loop. That's all you're doing. Now on the second round, I like to do two staples. So this is what it should look like, almost like, a, it's like twisted like a pretzel almost. So this is a C, how this is going to be the, C, the part you're going to see, and this is going to be inside. So we're going to do that a couple more times. And I'm going to go fast. So, but you guys can rewind to watch. And then we're going to twist from the top into each other, into the inside. And you kind of line them, line them up with the other piece that you have that looks like that on the inside. And then I'm going to, I like to do two. So you can just do these real quick. And all the pieces are going to be like the same. So no changes on any of them. Do them all exactly the same. Then you're going to take this, fold it in, line it up with your other piece that's at the bottom there as close as you can. Don't staple your finger. <laughs> Get that on there. Uh-oh. My nails are long, so the struggle is real. All right. And just a couple more of these. Now let me go up a little higher. And they're going to do the same thing. Twist it inward. It's awkward the first couple times that you do it, but once you kind of get the feel for it, like, am I doing this right? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that staple. I didn't go all the way down in there. Let me pick that up. All right, you know what? I'll just put a third one. Okay, there we go. Oh, hang on. I'm going to get this other staple out. It didn't go down in there right. So we'll just remove that. If I can, as I said, my nails are long. Bear with me. Let me just grab some pliers. I got a, a weird staple in there. And I don't want that in there because I don't want the bow to come apart. Okay, there we go. All right, and just one more of the um, 12 by one inch strips. And then we can move on to the next set. I always forget that I have a glass mat. When I was making these yesterday, I was like slamming my my uh, metal stapler down and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna crack this mat. All right, so now you have your five of these. So I'm gonna show you what to do next. You know what, we might as well do the smaller ones too and we'll just set those aside. So I'll do these. So same exact thing, They're, it's just a little shorter. So just make sure you're getting a nice, good grab because the shorter ones are a little tougher to do. All right, let me line that up. And again, that second staple. All right, and then we're gonna do this. Last one. And we'll set those aside until we're done creating the bow, the base of the bow with the larger ones. We got one, two. There we go. 
All right, so the only thing left you should have is just your six inch strip, which I'll show you what to do with that in just a moment. So we're gonna take our hot glue, which my hot glue gun is way over here, but I'm gonna show you what to do. You're gonna put some glue down in the base of the first piece and be generous because you definitely don't want it to come apart. So I'm gonna do that. Then you're gonna take a second strip and just do it straight across, like a cross. And then you wanna just give it a firm press until it's completely dried. Just wait a few seconds, because sometimes I'm in a hurry trying to do it. And it doesn't matter, the glue won't show, like I have a little glue popping out on the side there, but it's all gonna be hidden underneath, so it's all good. All right, then we're gonna take two more and we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we're gonna glue, 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 glue. Put again, another generous dollop. So you're gonna, it's gonna look like this. that for just a couple more seconds so you have two things that look like a star now you're gonna insert them in opposite of one another so see how one looks like a cross and one looks like an X and we're gonna pop these in there just like this so again we need some more glue in the center there sorry I got the cord on my I mean not that you need to see my glue gun but it's a short, <laughs> it's a shorter cord. I probably need to get an extension cord. So again, you're gonna put the cross into the X. Now these ones over here, I only stopped here, but if you feel like you need an extra one, you can add on an extra one down at the bottom, but I'm, for the sake of the video, it's not necessary because all of these were made just with four. So two and then two down here. So let's give that a firm, firm press. But sometimes I feel like it doesn't look fluffy enough, but I'm gonna leave it at just this. but I could if I wanted to add an extra one. We'll see how I feel. All right, the next one, you're gonna do the same thing. So always remember, you're always going opposite of, so I, I don't wanna put it this way, I wanna put it opposite. So these two I'm gonna do individually. So instead of like creating the cross. So this time I'm gonna just put some glue at the bottom of this piece. All right, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm doing it across. And then I'm just gonna hold that down. I'm trying to decide if I wanna use that fifth piece or not. <laughs> All right. Just hold it. And then just like the other one, we're gonna go across. Oops, that's the bigger one. Um, this is the 10 inch. These two are the 10 inch ones. So I think I'm gonna go that way. So I'm gonna put some glue down in here. Let me see if I can just do it with the hot glue and in, right into the bow. Yeah, I'll do it this way. All right, and I got my 10 inch piece and I'm doing it making a cross. And you gotta press it down. You gotta get that nice and firmly in there and dry. So now you can see that the bow is forming. So fun. All right, now the six inch strip, we're gonna create a loop. 
That's going to be a big loop because you don't want your centerpiece to be sunken down. See how that one, you can see it from the top and it's sticking up. So, I mean, you're not going to use this whole thing. I folded it about an inch in because we want it to be a nice big um, fluff of a bow or of a ring on the inside. And then you're just going to put some glue in here and close that down. So let's do that. And put some glue just here so we can make our little bow and I'm gonna try not to burn my finger which I think you can do it with staples too and just hold that for a bit make sure that it's all glued down I don't want to burn my finger because it doesn't feel nice <laughs> all right So now you have your little loop, okay? Now, I do this one opposite. So I don't do it the same direction as this one or the same direction as this one. I'm gonna do it like in a diagonal, if you will. So it looks like this, and then it's not too uh, low down so you can see the, the little loop that you created. So it's like kind of a diagonal if you will but I'm gonna make it a little taller because I like it to stick up so you can just give it a little squeeze just to make it look a little longer I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down in there this is the most awkward angle that I'm trying to <laughs> do this at all right so again and make sure you put your icky side down the one that you where you created the little connection then you're just going to go ahead and stick that in there, like I said, at an angle. And just, um, it. the other pieces are kind of holding it in place, so you don't have to stick your finger down there and risk getting burned. But that's how you create it. Cute little gift bow that you can put on a package. And that is it. And like I said, I could, if I wanted to, add one more at the bottom. But I think I'm not. I think I'm going to leave it like the other ones. And um, that's enough. All right, so thanks guys for stopping by to look at my um, 24 days of Christmas countdown and my quick little tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the description box below. If you're not currently following me on Instagram, please remember to follow me at sassyblingyme31. And I will see you guys soon and have a good rest of your day and weekend. Bye.